Hi guys, I get a lot of questions on my perfect twist out video. It's one of my most popular videos. As you can see, I have a twist out in my hair and I'm going to take it down. And I want to share with you how to properly take down your twist out to avoid frizz, what you're doing wrong, and how to get the best results possible when you're unraveling your twist. I have perm rods in the front. That's because I've been wearing my hair straight lately. And the front pieces, they don't give me that good that good ring curl that I get on the back. So I put perm rods in there. You don't have to, it's a personal preference. I just like for my ends to be really, really curly. So I'm gonna share with you how to take those down as well as how to take down just the regular twists that don't even have perm rods. We're gonna start with just this one right here. It's pull off the top and you want to unravel it in the opposite direction. So it's going around towards the back. And so the proper way to remove it is to unravel it in the opposite direction. Your hair should come out nice and smooth. And you have a perfect spiral. When you're taking down any type of protective style, we don't we don't start up here in the middle. No. We're starting all the way down here at the bottom. I'm just going to find where it separates, gently pull it and unravel it in the opposite direction again. So it's twisted towards the back. So I'm going to untwist it towards the front. And you see how it's just separating on its own? Your hair should separate nice and easily. And as you guys know, I braid my roots, so that's why I end up with three pieces instead of two. Tell that something weird happened with that one, but that's okay because we're gonna move on to our next one. This is how you twist you want them to look, and this is just separating them one time. This one doesn't have a perm rod. The right way to separate it, we are going to start at the bottom where our curl begins. So we're gonna start right above this, gently pull it apart. We have two pieces now, untwisted, opposite direction. Untwist, untwist, untwist. As we get to the top, you can see that I have my roots braided. So I'm just going to unbraid my roots. And that's where my hair separates into three. And this is what we're left with. To the back again here is one without a perm rod right above where our curl forms we're going to pull it apart and your hair will naturally come apart if you have a good set your hair will naturally separate you see how perfect that is that's why I love the back of my hair because it doesn't have these problems <laughs> like there's no looseness it just comes apart so nicely because my curls are more, my curls are more in the natural element back there. And this is what we're left with. Three perfectly individual things. I'm gonna take this out. Once I begin to separate this, and say I just start randomly pulling it apart and I go like this. You can see I've messed up my curl. If your curl ends up looking like this, that means that you have separated it and twirled it the wrong direction against how you have set your hair. So to fix that, I'm just going to twirl it back and we're back here. As a side note, I can tell I was a little heavy handed with my product this time. As you can see the little residue floating around my hair from taking my hair down but that's okay because after the first day or so you can't really see it and it's not noticeable on my hair if you look up really really close my hair doesn't have any residue on it so it's just there from the first initial takedown next time i'll be more mindful
So this is what my hair looks like after I finish taking out all the perm rods and just taking down the twist. I haven't done any additional separation. This is just removing them. Um, I am going to go in and separate them even further and stretch my hair, but this is just the initial look. And this is me showing you that my roots are nice and flat. When I do get ready to separate this, the proper way is to start at the root. You don't start in the middle down here and start pulling stuff. We want to start at the root, kind of pull it and feel where it starts to separate. So here is the separation and I would just pull that out like that and start gently separating it where it naturally wants to separate. And I'm going to just gently twist that back so that we have our curls too. Let's do another one. We have this one right here. We're going to start at the root, pull it, find where it wants to separate. Once we get to a, a breaking point, gently pull it apart. And we have this curl still intact and this curl is still intact. So I'll be separating my hair tomorrow or the next day. Um, I don't have anything to do tomorrow, so I'll plan to separate it tomorrow. And I'll come back and show you how my hair looks after I've fully separated and after I've stretched my hair. going strong we're still going strong I mean we have lost this is what I'm telling you guys you start out good the last you do be like you still see every single crimp and curl so this twist out lasted me for two weeks. I did not retouch or anything. Uh, that's something very important that you should know. You should not have to retouch your hair if you start out with a good foundation. So I hope you got some good tips and insights to make your next twist out come out amazing. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.